Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So, how often do you encourage your spouse? Well, you should still be encouraging your spouse, especially if you guys are in a long-term relationship or in a marriage. I'll tell you why right after this. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back. So a lot of times when we are in these long-term relationships and marriages, and sometimes even in the dating, depending on how long you've been dating, okay, um, <laughs> we actually get into these ruts or these times in our relationships where we become just super complacent with our partners. Now, I'm bringing this up because when we are complacent with our partners we actually start to take them for granted and because we are seeing them every day we don't think that they necessarily need to hear encouraging words because we have already shown them that we got their back and we know from previous experience that they actually can achieve whatever it is that they want to do and so we kind of let these things fall by the wayside but you can't let them fall by the wayside. You still have to encourage your partner because you have to understand that your partner usually is one of the most important people in your life. And so because we are one of the most important people in our spouse's life, in our partner's life, even in girlfriend, boyfriend um, life, again, depending on how long you guys have been dating, we have to remember to let them know, hey, baby, you got this. You know what? I know that you're scared, but you got this. You know exactly what you're doing. You know exactly what you're talking about. So you have to remember to encourage your spouse. One of the first reasons why you have to remember to encourage your spouse is because you never know what they are going through, how they are feeling about a particular dream or a goal or something that they just want to achieve. And maybe they haven't even discussed it with you. And so because I always say continue to ask a million and one questions, even when you're in a relationship, just sit down and ask your spouse, ask your partner, how is life going for you? Like, what are you actually trying to achieve? Is there something that I can help you do? And then after you have actually sat there and let them just get out everything that they've been talking about, like without interruption, actively listen to them. Mentally take some notes from them and then ask those follow-up questions so you can start to understand and really continue the connection with your partner. Continue to build the intimacy with your partner. And this is where you can slide in those encouraging statements. Boo, I know you got this. You are the most wonderful person. You always get the things done. Just go out there and do it or help them brainstorm into seeing what the next step is to get them closer and further ahead to said goal, to said dream, to said whatever it is that they're trying to do. You are the first person whose words really carry real weight, especially to your spouse. Because even though we get encouragement from outside forces, the person that you truly want to have your back, that you truly want to get the words of encouragement from, is your spouse. You want them to feel good about you. You want them to feel as happy as you are about achieving the next goal, about achieving their dream. Because really, you're achieving it together. Y'all in this together. But you don't know what words that you need to deliver to them because you haven't asked them what's going on with them in such a long time. Because we're human. Life gets in the way. The relationship kind of gets thrown back here somewhere. Sometimes it does. But you have to remember to make it a priority, to push it to the forefront of your brain, to have these conversations with your spouse, to keep encouraging them so they can attain and reach their goals. The second thing that I want you to realize is that you don't understand that your words of encouragement can make the difference in them being successful 
and them failing. Because they haven't had that push that they need. And sometimes we need a little push or sometimes we're just very fearful that things are not going to work out the way that we want them to work out. And so, you know what, instead of me getting out there and just doing it because I'm scared, I don't know how this thing is going to turn out. I'm just going to stay here in the background, not do anything. And so your words of encouragement actually can help your partner be more successful because you believe in them you're actually you're telling them i believe in you you're telling them listen you had a goal last time you attained that now it's time to attain this one what can we do how can i help you you got this though and i have to say that my boo is very good at this my hubby is very good at this um i'm starting to speak at more live events i'm pretty comfortable behind the camera but live audiences, the nerves are still super built up. And I'm having more and more live events where I have people in front of me. And so I'm thinking to myself, I mean, am I saying the right thing? I mean, all these eyeballs are on me and uh, are they receiving me well? I mean, like, what are they actually thinking? Uh, you know, it's a lot of stuff going around in your head when you're the speaker when you're the person in front of the audience instead of being one of the audience members. And that can be very fearful. I mean, so many people are scared of public speaking. And this is just a side note of information. Did you know that more people are scared of public speaking than they are of death? I just thought that that was interesting. You know, interesting fact. That's all I'm saying. So I know that. Yes, I, I can... I know that I will get over my fear of speaking in front of people. Yes, I've done it more than one time now. So, yes, I can do it. But there are still times, especially now that the audience is getting bigger and bigger, right? So, my name is being put out there more. The audience is getting bigger and bigger. The fear is heightening even more because now I'm having even more eyes. And basically, Boo was asking me what's going on. And I shared all of this with him. And he was just like, I mean... Don't even worry about it, boo. You got this. Me and boo got your back. And he's talking about our daughter. Me and boo got your back. You know what you're talking about. Just go out there and deliver the message. Practice your speech and do what you do. Go ahead and deliver it. And those are the moments that make me say, man, I really love this dude. <laughs> like, because you do want to get the approval i'm not gonna lie you want to get the approval from your spouse but you also want to get the encouragement and support from your spouse it makes it that much easier that i can come here and be like hey boo this is what happened blah, 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 blah. now even though he's not trying to be a speaker right but he is being a supportive spouse <laughs> by listening to what i have to say and and that's exactly what he said he was like go out there do it and come home and let me know how it went like tell me what happened he wants to know. He wants to be a part. And I love that about him. Because it does make me feel special. It does make me like, all right, boo, I'm going out here. I'm going out here for us. <laughs> and then when I come back home, I get to share all of the things that happen. Because as you know, if you don't follow me on social media, and that's a shameless plug, follow me on mainly I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and my Facebook fan page. Those are the three where you'll find me outside of YouTube the most. But if you're not following me, then you've never seen my husband or even my daughter. Because sometimes you'll hear my daughter on the videos, but I've never shown her face here on YouTube. Because I just don't want to, and that's just the bottom line. I probably never will. But she is on my social media. But I also have to say that I very rarely post pics. So if you go on there specifically looking for my family, then you probably will have to scroll a little bit. Because I do share them. I just don't share them a whole lot. I won't. <laughs> I'm selfish, huh? I'm selfish. No, that's really not the truth. We just, you know, that's just really not our thing. I do post them. I post them a lot more, mainly because of my family. But, you know, that's just not our thing. But anyway... Getting the support that you need from your partner just really, really, really helps. It makes you feel good. It makes you want to go out there. It makes you want to do good. And you feel like you can do it because you have their, because they have your back. 
So now I want to know what you guys think. Is it important for your spouse to encourage you, to give you those words of encouragement? Have you received some words of encouragement recently? Or do you need to give some words of encouragement? Definitely let me know down in the comment section below. Of course, give me thumbs up. And if this is your very first time here, you have just found me, definitely go ahead and subscribe. Hit the red button or the icon with my lovely face because here at I Love Me, 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 I'm supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships so we collectively can bring down that divorce rate while simultaneously increasing the marriage rate. I love you guys. There's nothing that you can do about it and I will see you again in a future video. Deuces.